Okie dokie. So quick video today. Just wanted to do a little quick tip for Blender and OBS because I found when I'm trying to record like time lapses of work, you know, we run into that thing of the, the classic 3D modeler doing the uh, spin around. And uh, that can look a little bit funny when sped up. We've got a little chaotic motion going on there and maybe uh, a little bit too much flashing lights so versus this technique which we set up over here which is something that a lot of 3d programs actually have like zbrush and whatever for recording time lapses this is a way i figure out to do it with blender and obs i think it just looks a little bit smoother and uh, easier to look at I mean, unless you're trying to record a tutorial video, it's showing exactly how you're doing a thing. I think this is easy to see what you did. So I wanted to figure out how to do a little better recording with Blender and OBS. Um, I've tried a few ways and this is the method that I've come up with. Um, so I'm just using the current project that I'm working on. You can check the other videos and progress for that. But basically it's as simple as just starting a new window in Blender and setting up all the other stuff. OBS is just optional stuff that makes life easier. But how I have it now, and I work in Blender, I've got one window that I can work in. So this is the window that we want to record. We can set our camera angle for whatever angle we want in our video. Then you can of course change this during the video. And what I'd like to do is figure out just a nice way to make this slowly rotate as I work, but that's not a main deal. We can just sort of focus on the area that we're currently working on. And then anything we do in our main window will happen in our edited one so we can go and do our work on that of course you won't have it in this setup we'll have this full screen we can work on this and in the background all the stuff is going to be happening in this window so this is a really simple process you just need to go in blender you want to say window new main window and you can customize that window you know take out all your panels so you can just join panels that you don't want to see in your time lapse just to make things easier um, or whatever set that up as you want you have to do it with the, the main window because i originally tried it with just the new window um, the problem with that is while it's a nice clean single window with just the 3d view unfortunately it's always on top so i can't go in and have it there even if I have it on my other monitors, it always pops up in front and I normally got other stuff there. So unless you've got multiple monitors and want to have a dedicated monitor just for this, um, it's not going to work nicely. So do the, the main window because then you can always just make sure that you've got the, the one that you're working on on top and the other one can go back. So the little bonus things that I've got here for OBS tips is I use an auto scene switcher add-on so it's the advanced scene switcher so if I turn that on I'm using a little bit of an older version the, the newest version has a slightly different interface you can find that here on the OBS project website and it's the advanced scene switcher they've changed it up a little bit for the newest version I haven't updated it because well, I'm lazy but basically works the same way you can just say if you're running blender and it is the active window then pop into a certain scene. So I've got that over here set up as if Blender is the currently focused window, switch to the Blender scene. And then you'll see that that's got Blender in it. Since it's not the currently focused window, it doesn't show up. So if we have that as our focused window, the scene opens up. And then the other thing that I've got set up is one of the default scripts for OBS, you'll see the pause scene.lua and you can just say pause scene, set the scene that you want to be the scene that pauses. So I've just made a scene that's got pause, it's basically an empty scene, but when you're recording or streaming or whatever, so what we can do is we can just start recording and you'll see that when I have my window active, this is the one that the main window, it switches to the scene with blender with our selected time-lapse video and the nice thing about this pause thing is we can go do other stuff I can switch to other tabs or whatever 
and when I switch to another window and I'm not actively working on the project the recording pauses so you don't have to go micromanage your stuff so you can go in edit change stuff it'll always be recording on the, the secondary window that you selected and you can go do stuff and you're not going to have the crazy as you're working around in your 3d window um, yeah hope this helps trying to keep it quick and uh, if you want to check out work on this 3d flying car project check out the other videos and streams that will be coming up in the future just